All right, welcome back to the channel. As promised, we are doing part two of Instant Noodle Zombies, this time with twice as much instant. So yeah, uh, me and Stango enjoyed playing this the first time. We ended up 2 0 our frog opponent. I do think that this deck probably has a good matchup against frogs, or at least a decent one, because of Triple Book of Life in the main. And just overall, if you know how to slowly play the grind game uh, and the traps are really good and stuff, you can you can beat you can beat the frog deck. So zombies are one of the decks that, as a frog player, I don't really want to play, to be honest. Like I kind of just want to avoid it just because it is. Is playing weird cards like book of life i'm not used to having my graveyard touched on game one so any deck that does that naturally annoys me aka glad beast aka you know triple book of life zombies but yeah we're gonna see if we can actually get some instant fusion tricks off because in the last video we just kind of like won without doing anything with instant fusion and i just want to see how that actually plays out if we draw the card so i want to see reaper the nightmare you know i want to get some reaping so let's let's just uh let's see what's going on here Stinger. let's can we get some reaping today we going back into the pool Let's see. Let's see what the let's see what the crypt is looking like. Yeah. All right. All right. I think Reaper plays scissors. Yep. <laughs> it's like the scythe. All right. All right. G O H F. Okay. Set right. two. Set two pass instantly. Activate that shit. All right. Let's see what you're working with. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's see. Who is the biggest problem in the sea? So <laughs> you could put back Arabellum. If you don't, he's going to summon it into Bottomless. The thing that happens right. after that, though, is that he might book a moon it. I don't know if he would really do that because that would be so bad in my opinion. But like he does have a deep prison to protect it. So... And I don't want to yeah. have to. I don't want to have to set our entire hand, which is what I think it will come to. So maybe just put yeah. back, put back the Arabellum so that nothing weird happens. And then if he summons Fire Dog. You just bottomless that shit. Yep, yep. I agree with all that. And Fire Dog's actually, l yeah, it's the same stat line. Yeah, they it's both have no it. defense. Yeah. I just don't want the weird thing where he books it, sets the prison, then we have to like set our entire hand if we don't draw a monster right now and even if we do deep prison still protects so okay. now his hand is just gale brain control which is like a nice little thing but all right all right that's yeah. fine yeah literally any monster we draw we please, do please god a good amount of things do not redraw that airbellum please db do not do this glitch oh my god it's oh. worse it's <laughs> not it's worse it is worse oh my god i hate it so much this is honestly kind of fine, if I'm being honest. Like, all these cards are fucking dead in our hand. They are dead as shit. And he just, so, he goes plus one here. It's not even that crazy. Like, these guys both die. Yeah. Yeah, like, this is, this is going to be fine. We're going to, we're going to get through this. Oh, God. Yo, that's, that is fucking so funny. We want to play Insta Fusion, and the fucking game <laughs> takes both of them. <laughs> Oh. That doesn't save it, right? It does, actually. It does. Okay, yeah. sure. That's fine. We can still summon a monster because he used this book. Oh my god. All right. Set everything. Frasier? We're, we're setting it all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. we know his hand. We're just, yeah, we're just fucking sitting here taking damage. This is ridiculous. Yeah. This Please is, this... give 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 me a fucking monster I can summon and take his tuner. Yo. It's fine. Am just, I gonna be greedy? I nah, just I would take it. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, am I gonna be greedy? If he summons level four monster goes for black rose, we just accept. Alright, what do we have? Allure. Uh, let's look at everything. I want to see everything. Okay, all right, Lord is. Yeah. So he's book of moon. He has deep prison set. Yeah. Am I lagging? Yeah, man, lagging. Okay, perfect. That's a fucking good one. Um. All right. So goodbye, Caius. Yeah. Goodbye, Caius. All right. So what can we make that's cool here? We can make a seven. The seven that we can make. Ooh, Frazier. I'm about to do some crazy shit. And I'm about to run into Gores. If you run into Gores, we got Mirror Force. I'm with you, Stango. I support you in yeah, everything that I'm, you're trying I'm to do. I'm wing blasting him and he's fucking drawing it. He he's skipping two turns. Alright, come on, let's do it. 
wing blast yeah. the back row. Yep, he's skipping two turns. You are skipping two turns, my guy. You're gonna fucking learn today for this is this is kind of cool. You're gonna right, learn today so for trifling with me. I think we. Oh damn, we actually miss. I I misplayed. I just what'd realized. You, what'd you do wrong? I should have. I because sh this is a prison. I should have did this first, and I have a better discard target. Yes. Because what did you end up discarding? Uh, turtle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely could have. Uh. Better. Okay. Well, we can get yeah. plague here. Yeah. That's that's yeah. good. You have book of life, so I would. Yeah. I would actually. Um, so you don't. The weird thing is you. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to mill him. I don't want yeah, to mill you him. Don't actually I'm thinking want to him. I'm thinking though. No, I'm just gonna do this. This is fine. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna roll a die. It takes too long. Yes. You're just skipping Cause, control. Because this is exactly right. Yeah. It doesn't this doesn't actually do anything. So we know he has brain control, Gale, which we're gonna mirror force to Gale. Yep. Okay. He's probably just going to attack with this, I imagine. Yeah, and you just, yep. you just destroy it. Mm -hmm. So he has Gale. D-Prison now. D-Prison now. Gale, D-Prison. One random, maybe? One random. Yeah, it's one random. Because the fire dog is gone. Wait, wait, let's look at it again. Let me see those. Cause, so, because the only card he drew was that. Uh, okay, no, it is one random because he drew Rescue Cat that one turn after we dashed it. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's okay. So we're gonna now. just kill him. Yeah, we're just gonna kill him. That's game. That is a game. Goodbye, Rescue Cat. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> All right, we pulled it out. It was fucking goddamn. It was fucking <laughs> arduous to win. <laughs> you are so funny to me. <laughs> Oh god, you are just so funny. <laughs> we yeah, get the fuck out we of didn't here, get pussy. to do instant fusion. I just find it to be fucking hilarious. I just love how the game took all the instant fusion away. Like, goddamn. That is hilarious. And I'm out here combo. You even, you even yeah. did it right. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, I'm out here. Like, fuck him. Get your search. It's mandatory. Absolutely fuck him. All right, let's see. Yeah. That's Yo, right. That, Yo, you, you played that game. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Frazier, he's drawing two, he's skipping two turns. <laughs> this guy's fucking skipping two turns. He doesn't deserve any turns. <laughs> Yo, when the master, when the pupil actually starts to become the master, I like it. You, that was, that was really well played. I, uh, yeah, I thought the, that, the only was, modification is should have been, it should have been synchro first because we yes, got to prison. Yes. That was a mod, that was definitely an optimization that could have been made. But overall, I think that you played that really well. I hate zombies. So at that, after we lost our two instant fusions, I was just kind of like, fuck this deck. Yeah, you were out of it. It's just like, yeah. yo, it's fucking crazy. He took both of them. Yes. What right. the fuck? Uh, use thinking emoji real quick. Yeah. So I'm thinking if we want to put in skill drain against this deck. I'm, I'm trying to think about if that's a good idea or not. Um. So fire dog is 19. Um, I feel like we do. We play too many recruiters to let him attack over our guy and get effects and then get cards from our hand. So let's put in the skill drains. Okay. Um, and then we also want to put in the compulses. So take out the wing blast. Uh, I hate to say it, but take out at least one Kai as we're going second. Yep. T uh, let's get rid of Dust Shoot. We're going second as well. Does anything else stand out? It's particularly not that good here. So I'm thinking I'm debating between Book of Life and Instant Fusion. I think Instant Fusion has to go though, like one of them. Uh because Book of Life is just so good against this deck. Yeah, because this deck plays Avarice. Yeah. It also just plays graveyard shit. So let's go this route. See if this works out. Do you want to side just a little less optimally just for the chance of being able to play future fusion? I mean instant fusion. No. Okay. You just want to win. Yeah, we have the well always, but we have the same <laughs> chance of opening whirlwind now that we are at two, which is like I think twenty eight percent. It might be a little less because this deck is forty one cards randomly, but like still, nerd. Oh yeah, that that was a nerd moment, wasn't it? Just like going into all the math. Yeah, you just started fucking talking about math. I'm fucking. <sighs> <laughs> all right. Well, when you side, you're when you side, you draw it. Yeah, like, you I have draw no problem side. drawing your side deck. And this diffusion's around with Plague Spreader Zombie. Yes, we can make a play. Set Turtle, set Drain. Yeah, uh, that's what I see. Yeah, that's, that's the very, yeah, set Turtle, set Drain. 
Because like I don't want to attack into it because this deck does play. Yeah, it's probably Ryko. Yeah, I, I like it. Absolutely. Not. Um, yeah, chain. let him do that, right? No, 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 no. Chain, chain. Or do you want to? Yeah, let no, him no. Use, I... use the monster, right? No, chain, 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 chain. Okay. Sure. Let him have Descendant as a dead draw on his deck. I guess that's fair. Solemn, sure. Okay. I'm willing to accept that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, this, that's, this, a, one, this, that's it, a one for one trade. Yeah, I'm not letting card. him get the Descendant and then tribute the spy, and then, like, now he has Descendant out of his deck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's fair. Oh my god, Dougie. Do we just go next? No. I mean, he pitch heavy storm. What I hate about the cat deck is how often it fucking somehow opens up with these hands. Like, it doesn't make sense. What the fuck? He just misclicked on his deck. Yeah, that's fine. Am I dead? Why do you think you're dead? This dies, and then he makes two... No, I can't be dead. Okay. Can I use instant fusion, though? I mean, I probably won't be able to. It's probably going to get fucking hit again. Let me see. Uh, do we want to go next? Can we sack out of this? So he just used Heavy Storm, but then I had nothing. I literally... I'm losing two cards, and I feel like if I lose any of these cards, it's like bad Well, Play Spider's not the worst. Let's, 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 let's run it. Let's run the gambit. Come on. All right, sure. We'll just see what our draw is. He already saw the skill drain, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. Sure. All right. Sad about that one. Plague. Please, Plague. Fuck. All right. Okay, well, we still I have mean, a play, though. Look at our hand. We have yeah, a play. Yeah, we, we do have a play. We can Black Rose. We can also Arcanite. Yes. I think he's going to make two Arcanites, maybe. Mm. All right, can I draw like my own heavy storm? We just got oh, go okay. ahead. Oh, this is good. See, look. Oh, we could play. All right. All right. Uh, so our just make Arcanite pop tooth. Yep. yep. Pop two is that return. Arcanite in defense, though, because we are low. Yeah. Come on. I'm not the only one that can do this beach. Yeah, like, come on, bro. You summoned the same guy. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous now. What do we need to draw? Oh, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, that's game. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus God. Christ. All right. Um, put your dashi back in. Take out a compulse. You want guys to come back? Uh, I don't, don't really think so. I don't think that's the reason why. What about an instant fusion? Because with at least with instant fusion, if we draw our traps in a tuner, we can um sometimes make a turn one start us. Hmm, that's not awful. Uh, swap those cards at least first. Yep. All right. Now you're talking about instant fusion for what? Good question. You have to choose. You got to learn how to decide with this shit. The skill drain didn't really un underperform. I just got fucking got by Solemn. Yeah, you got God handed. That's, you can't really complain about that at all. Yeah, it's tight to see what to take out. I guess it's just nothing. Return is not that good, it looks like to me. And like that game yeah, just now. It might was be awful. a little too slow. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Like he's drawing really good hands. He just ripped Cat game one. And that game, he had fucking Heavy Storm, Solemn Judgment, Summoner Monk, Set Spy. Like, what more do you want from me? All right. Well, this is giving normal curry bonds. Yes, that's exactly right. Yep. Frank and just summon. Hoo -hoo. Pray that we don't. Yeah, exactly. Like, pray that we don't get God handed again. Pray, brain control summon. Hoo -hoo. At least this can't be attacked with fire dog. Okay, this is good so far. All right. Well, you fuck. Actually. There, he, there's really no good choice here because I have multiple things that I can do here. I can go. If he puts make back Brio Kais, with Mizuki, summoning Goblin Zombie. 
Yeah, I think he's putting back Goblin Zombie, personally. I think he's putting back Highest, but we'll see. Yep. Okay. Well. All right. So, I can go normal Mizuki, make Brio, bounce, attack. Mm, I don't like that, because then I can't book a life. He doesn't have a grave. I think it's just Caius. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's just Caius. All right. It's just Caius, yeah. Like, I was trying to figure it out, because I was just like, I can, Caius can be played, like, next turn, but. Yeah. Ooh, do I want to attack? I really don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you are like, so funny. Instantly lose, right? Like, it's so bad, but Ugh. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to fucking do it. It's... Frazier, we instantly lose, though. It's, like, real bad. Oh, I know. It happens so quick. And he knows we lose, too. Yeah. Which makes it worse. It's one thing when you know you lose. It's worse when your opponent knows you lose, too. All right, well, he's got to do something with this, Caius, because there's no fucking way that this is allowed to be on the field on my turn. Yeah, it's making a dark end with the swiftest of Swifties. <laughs> Not the swift of the swift. The oh, dark end no. is coming. Oh, no, brother. You are fucking cooked. There will never be a flip that's ever been flipped. Okay. Uh, so we can pass because we mean pass Mizuki really? and book a life. No, I mean like attack and. Oh, um, okay, okay. I was like, what? Yeah, like I'm. There's no reason to book a life in this situation. Yeah, I thought you were trying to play around Gores all of a sudden. Like, if no, you just no, drew no, it, no, you no, just no, no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with it. Yeah, no, I'm done. If you just drew it, then that's fine because I have book a life and Goyo to beat it, and he obviously has an all monster hand. So, oh, what's happened? You drew all your fucking Arabellums. <laughs> He drew Descendant. <laughs> Remember when I said Skill Drain so he keeps that shit in his deck? Oh, I mean, that's so fucking broken. Because he's going to... Go ahead. Go ahead. Do your thing. Yeah. I mean, you're just going to try to kill him, aren't you? Yeah, no. I, he, this game's fucking over, Frazier. I'm done. Fuck right. this guy. He's out of here. I, you, you're about to talk about this is broken. You know what's broken? Your fucking life. Your life is, oh, your no. life is broken. I'm about to clean his clock. Um, so what are we making here? So this this Dargan is currently at twenty one. It's about to be at sixteen. So that embryo is game. Uh, yeah, that embryo is game. Um, so we just summon embryo and discard a lore darkness since that shit's not getting used. Yeah. Oh, oh no! You're getting fucking messaged. You're getting me <laughs> you fucked up my insta fusion day. <laughs> Ggs. <laughs> GG's bitch unhinged so we did get to play Insta Fusion and it was in the worst possible case where we just popped his two cards and he killed us immediately it's like the two Insta Fusions got discarded the one game and we still ended up winning and then the next game we play Insta Fusion finally after all of this and we just died after playing it and then this game I don't think we Insta Fusioned at all right that. we got him to say it Okay, that's good. I mean, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> not for you. Me, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I because I don't know what else to say at this point. Like the deck performed well. Like it definitely, it definitely performed well. I um, it has some some uh, what do you call them? Some points where things go wrong. Like I forget what they're called when you have like those kind of points where break it, points. Break, break points. points. Yeah, let's call them break points. It has some break points that I'm a little nervous about at point. Like at you know, no pun intended, but at points. And it, it was a little concerning, like, oh, God, if this, if this doesn't go right, like, we're just kind of cooked. But, yeah, a lot of times, a lot of times we just kind of blow people out. And I like that about the deck because once you get to, like, that 4,000 range, you're just dead. Like, there's no more yeah. going. I noticed every time we got somebody to 4,000, they died every single time right there. I will definitely promise that if you, we have not shown, shown off the instant fusion stuff, but there was some crazy shit that I was I was doing with it in, in my game. Well, why don't you and... pull up a replay? Do you you have? Yeah, some... yeah. I I might have a replay. All right, what's this one? Um. Oh, the zombie mirror. Yeah, this one's good. I remember this one. This one's pretty good. All right, so here's a replay. There's some instant fusion action that happens this set, from what I recall. Or I could just be wasting everybody's time. 
All right. I decide to have a tomato off with him, and he has more tomatoes than me. Okay. Black rose for it all. Yep. I was about to get a double goblin zombie search as well. Oh no. This dark arm doing the most. Clearing it all up. Mill the top too. Mill it. Mill it and take damage. Wait, I was so happy. Goblin. You have gold, so, so you just win. Yeah, I was so happy when this was his turn. And then he, but he does have okay. he does have three darks. He fucking hits the Caius out of my hand. So I'm in a fucking weird situation right now. I just yes. have to set everything. Um, minor misplay that I did here is that I took away his Mizuki when I should have at least took away one dark. So effectively, he can only remove two cards without discarding. Yeah. So I get a little popped up for this. We get Mizuki. I take some damage here. The fact here. that you haven't taken damage this entire time is insane. Yeah. I His think field has been it. like this for so long. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, baby. So here I'm like, oh, if he has brain control, Goyo is actually not good to make here because he's just going to go crack back and then bounce my monster that he brain controls. Yeah. So I actually make a revive king because it beats everything on his field. And it also doesn't kill me off of brain control. Yes! Instant fusion! Ooh. Arcanite pop pop! He stole off a of dark stuff, a dark arm. Yeah, he, right he emptied here. the tank. The tank was emptied. Yep. Instant fusion fucking did God's work right there. Yeah, that was good. That was a good showing. Yep. That shoots my ass. I've returned the favor. He gets in with a Reaper. Damn, he gets, gets in with a Reaper every time he plays you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I was just like, I. Listen, that Reaper can stay there. I don't like that fucking goblin zombie lingering in the dark. Playing, Playing a lot game. of draw pass. Dangerous game. What a dangerous game we played here. And that's game. Okay, well there you go. Mm -hmm. Got to see instant fusion actually do something, and also got this. Just see this. This deck is nice. It gets actually just nice. Yeah, because uh, here's the thing about zombies, right? Is that <sighs> when zombies get to play, it's always been like an S tier deck. Yes, because yes, it, 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 yes, it OTKs and gets through interruptions like no other deck. Like it's very, very good at specifically doing that. It's just getting to that game state fast enough where you're not overwhelmed and you're not like, you know, going minus in situations or like your opponent's not playing into your strategy. The instant fusion and triple book of life, like the fact that instant fusion gets you a zombie target for book of life to be live. And also you can turbo out Caius, which helps you get past the early mid game where like you're a lot weaker. So once you grind them out of all their cards that really hurt, like your, your strategy of like setting monsters and waiting on goblin zombie, you can just start playing freely after that. And then, obviously, you just have so many ridiculous, like, extensions. Like, e -Telly. When e -Telly situations come up, they're, like, disgustingly good. Um, you have Return, of course. Mind Control to take anything. Brain Control to take anything. It's one of the best Dark Arm decks, because it just... It, it is one it of the best Dark Arm decks. Yeah. It modulates the graveyard so easily with Mizuki and Plague. And fucking up theirs at the, at the same time. Yep. Um, but yeah, like I've always thought that zombies is a really, really good deck. I just always was of the opinion, like in the recent times, there's no innovation with the deck when every other top tier deck has been innovated. Yeah, I think it really fell behind. Yeah. I think that, like I said, the best thing that come out of zombies recently has been ultimate offering zombies. And, and now this one, I think are 
both really good ways to play the deck. It just makes it where you're not completely reliant on recruiters because I hate that play style in general. I do not like this. Is why I don't really fuck with fairies either. I don't relying. I don't like relying on my opponent to come at me and attack me because most people when they when they do. You know, they're attacking you with like a shore or something. It's like, all right, well, if they're attacking my face down, it's what, like, even the one game that we played where we got attacked by a fire dog, it's like, yeah, when people attack a monster that's face down or like a defensible monster, or whatever, it's typically going to be with something that benefits from doing that. It's going to be a favorable exchange for them. Yeah. yeah. I, so I, I typically just don't like the idea of that. Oh, my deck functions off of the battle phase. It's, it's a weird glad beast situation. That's the reason why glad beasts suck. They don't do anything until they attack and recruiters don't do anything until they are attacked. So it's kind of like meh, like very meh vibes. But, uh, yep. no, this deck, this deck is definitely nice. Like zombies will always be one of the best decks in the format. So it, now that it can, can do a little bit more, like I, I love the instant fusion, either tribute the reaper a nightmare or synchro with the reaper a nightmare, and then go into a book of life to bring it back and then get a card out your opponent's hand while establishing a board, while killing a monster at the same time. Like, that could just be so much advantage in one turn, where then the OTK potential of zombies becomes even scarier, because it's like, now, I'm down cards. I'm playing from behind now against this deck. He has a Reaporter Nightmare that's real. So, like you said, Duke yeah, Block doesn't yeah, stop like, that. You can't kill it by battle, and you also can't set monsters to block it. Like, it needs them to leave the field. Like, yes. You need to get it off of the field. And on top of all of that, it's still zombie, so you might just die. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's... Reaper the Nightmare, as far as like the card, I played this card a lot when I was doing a lot of my testing. Um, this card's this card's the real deal because one of the things that you can do is that it demands answers, which is like another part of that strategy where like you get their resources and cards so you can do your other other things with like goblin zombie sets and pyramid turtle sets and all that stuff. Um and you don't have to worry about like running into like a gores or something like that. Like for example, if you get a situation where they have a monster, you can go like summon zombie master, beat over the monster after you attack directly with Re Reaper the Nightmare. So you zap a card out of their hand, beat over their monster in battle, and if they had like gores in their hand, you're not even exposing yourself. You're getting a free attack through that also knocks a card out of their hand. Like it's it's crazy. Like it, I really, really like the direction the deck is going, and I think like when more fine tuning of it happens, like if really enthusiastic deck builders come out for zombies and like work harder on this instant fusion thing, like maybe you don't play three. Like three might be too much. Like two is good, and then like you introduce some other cards. Um, I think it's the deck's going to go places for sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it's. I mean, zombies they they usually get a tournament. Every once in a while. So if it happens soon, I wouldn't be surprised. Besides this one, this one just won the EWCQ. But if it won more tournaments, I, again, I would not be shocked. Zombies can always just randomly. It's just one of those decks. It comes out of nowhere and it just wins a tournament. And then everybody's like, oh shit, zombies, zombies, zombies. And then because zombies become popular, then the Black Wing decks, they're already popular, but they just get like, they get emboldened. They're like, oh, they get, zombies they get, are they out get there. Buffed. Because that's the thing with this deck, especially since it's running Instant Fusion, like Black Wings beat you by life points you're like yeah. playing more into that strategy yeah. on top of like playing more into oppression with this kind of build yeah there's a lot there's a lot going on there this this is definitely black wings favorable matchup right here they want to play against a deck like this this is exactly like you said three cards uh three cards are contingent on your life points being at, at a certain threshold then you also play solemn and return so like in general this deck just pays a lot you randomly i would just say you play Cree bonds and brain control too and Psychic Commander. So there's a lot of life point things happening with this deck. And Black Wings, yeah, they could just they could just beat you with the most bullshit. Like, oh, you have a guy in defense? I'll trample over it. And then I just collude you one time and that's it. Like you're you're at three thousand, yeah, you're actually dead. Like that Reaper in defense mode gets you killed. Yep. So but yeah, um, all right, so we're gonna end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.